Good morning. It is Saturday. BLCD 40. Recalculating. And um, today's a little bittersweet, I think, because I woke up with a release. So, you know, I'm not ruling out the alternative, right. but it's looking like it's probably not the case. Um, however, I didn't eat a lot yesterday. I was busy. And so I didn't get to eat lunch and I only ate dinner. And I only ate one of my fruits. So basically I had one fruit, one protein, and one veggie. And that's not like me. I don't, you know, usually skip that. I at least get my proteins and my veggies in. It just was a busy day. We had company. I got home from work late because I had to go by the doctors because I realized that I was going to run out of HCG this weekend. So I had to get to the doctors yesterday to pick up a bottle. And so I had company coming over and I was just running short on time. So by the time I got home, I didn't. I basically just ate my, my one fruit at that time. And um, don't forget, I got out of work early on Friday. So. I ate my fruit to hold me over and then we had dinner and then that was it. I didn't eat again after because I wasn't hungry. So, you know, maybe the lack of food contributed to my release today. Um, but regardless, I'm starting, I, I'm going to suspect that I'm probably um, not pregnant, but like I said, I won't rule it out. I will um, still go ahead and take a test on Monday, probably Monday or Tuesday. The more people I talk to, the more... Um, say that they got their positive on 11 DPO versus 10. So I might just wait that extra day so I don't have to go out and get another test or whatever. So, um, but anyway, my release was 1.2. Woo! So I'm happy about that. Scale's moving. And like I said, as long as it continues to cooperate, I'll keep going this round. And then I'll just cut my... Um, the other thing I have to consider is that Tom's coming. And I think there's a thing in the protocol about... Um, finishing not to finish during Tom or before or after something I gotta go look it up so if I decide to keep going I'm probably gonna have to keep going till after Tom is over or I need to stop you know before he comes one of the two so I'll go look that up and see what that says but um, so my total releases this round I think was at um, 21.8 I think I'm at so I think I'm going to make my goal. I hope so. If my body wants to keep letting go little bit by little bit. Um, I was a little nervous before I weighed in this morning because when I took my clothes off to weigh in, I realized that I got a little sunburn yesterday. I haven't burnt at all this year. Um, but I wore a different suit yesterday than I normally wear to the pool. So I had skin exposed that's not normally exposed. And I was out there for much longer than I normally am because my friend came over with her little five-year-old daughter who's a little fish. So um, she swam and swam and swam and swam and swam and so we were out there for quite a few hours. But I did pretty good considering as long as I was out there that that is the only place that I got burnt. So I'm, I'm happy about that but I was worried that I it was going to cause inflammation and that I wouldn't release. So. Um, so that's my update, guys. Yeah, I'm very happy to be releasing. I'm a little bit bummed. I told my husband, and he was like, no, you're not supposed to be releasing anymore. You're supposed to be gaining. And I'm like, uh-uh. I'll take a stall over a gain. I don't need to be gaining. But um, he had a 2.2 pound release today. So that was good. And yesterday... He had a 1.2 pound release. He told me one, but it was 1.2. I think he was just pissed and just said one. But 1.2, you know, that's better than than one. So, so 1.2 plus 2.2 plus 3.4 plus 3 is 6.4 plus one. So he's lost 7.4 since Tuesday. So not too shabby, right? still better than any other you know plan that you can do so he was very happy today I think he likes seeing that 2.2 and he deserved to see it so he's been trying so hard 
And I felt so bad yesterday because my husband has like a really bad sweet tooth. He just loves sweets, which is probably part of his problem. But um, when we had the little girl over, she wanted a dessert after dinner. And um, well, first of all, I made her dinner, which was chicken nuggets and little tater tots. And he was like, what smells so good? And I think I got his little salivary glands flowing. And then after dinner, I got her um, some little chocolate auntie anti whatever chocolate bunnies and she put them inside a bowl of um, vanilla ice cream so he was sitting there watching her eat it and he was dying he's like I'm gonna go get my orange now <laughs> he's kind of pouting um, but he had his orange right and that's satisfying so that's good and it paid off and I'm so glad it was a good release today because that showed him that not cheating and being disciplined pays off so that was awesome all right guys I am on my way to um, volunteer and then later on my sister and nephew are going to come over and hang out at the pool and I'm going to have to finish figure out how to Eight. not let myself burn again today um, and that's it no other plans for the weekend except you know the typical laundry house cleaning food shopping the list never ends but I'm going to try to enjoy myself and I hope you guys do the same. And I love your Thrifty Thursdays and all your vlogs. They're amazing and fun to watch. And I have so many new followers. So thank everybody to my new um, subscribers. You guys have been awesome supporting me. And I, and I try to subscribe back as I find new subscribers. It just depends on where I see your messages come in. If I'm reading an email on my iPhone and I'm not in, and I'm not logged into YouTube. I can't do it right away, so sometimes I'll forget, but I will um, eventually get around to subscribing back to everybody. So if I haven't yet, I will. Don't worry. I want to show you my support as much as you've shown me yours. Um, right. All right, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk soon. I'll probably update you again tomorrow just because. Okay, bye.